All right, uh, let's see. Uh, so we're going to be uh, implementing single page applications, right? also known as SPAs. <coughs> All right? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and they're a little bit different on uh, the way we have li um, we have implemented uh, web applications historically. Right? Typically, uh, the way we have uh, built application is that uh, uh, here on a on a browser, uh, you navigate to a page. Uh, the server uh, either you ask for an actual page, right, an actual HTML document. Uh, it fetches that HTML document, right, and then sends it to you verbatim. Okay. Uh, and presumably, this uh, HTML document uh, has all the all the content that it needs to render, right? and it renders it for you on the browser. Okay, that's that's uh, that's uh, uh, obvious, right? Uh, a step up from that was that uh, the server could, uh, before sending you the HTML, it could could uh, interpret this file, right? And if there was any embedded uh, code in there, perhaps execute that 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 con that, um, that executable. Right? And, and uh, uh, to know that this was either a static HTML, right? you, you, you would have an extension such as that HTML. Uh, but if this were perhaps another piece, uh, 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 file that contained not only HTML, but also contained some embedded uh, um, dynamic content, uh, we would give it other, other uh, extensions. And there's a plethora of these. Right? We have uh, you know, PHPs, we have HTTPs, we have PHP, we have Lots of these versions, uh, lots of these uh, uh, um, uh, server-side technology. Okay, uh, and what what would just happen here is that you ask for these one of these uh, 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 types of documents. Uh, they're loaded uh, by the server. The server executes uh, the the executable content here that is embedded in the page, and then what you would get is a dynamic HTML uh, page, right? A uh, an HTML document that is a calculated. Uh, uh, HTML, right? That perhaps this only uh, provided a template that your for loop iterated over that template and generated lots and lots of content out of that one template. Yes? And then what you came, ended up here was with you know a very long list of things, right? Whereas over here, the template only had one row. Here you ended up with hundreds of rows with that one template because you calculated over here, right? Uh, so this, 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 uh, this is a technology that was, that, that was very uh, successful. Has been around for quite a while. It's very mature, okay, and, and uh, still around, and will still be with us for quite a while. Uh, we're not going to do this. Right? This is not the the uh, the way we're going to be building applications. Right? Instead, um, uh, what we're going to be building is uh, instead of having the server do the calculation and the dynamic rendering of the content, we're going to take that responsibility and move it over to the client. The client is the one who's going to have the responsibility of dynamically rendering the page, right? Um, uh, uh, one of the reasons, or, or I think one of the ones that at least uh, from my mind uh, was um, that I had a first encounter with this technology uh, was when I um, when I did when I uh, the first time I used uh, 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 Google Maps. Okay, uh, I don't know, anyone remember MapQuest? Right, MapQuest. Uh, you know the, the 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 version that I knew, right, was uh would draw the, draw the map and would provide you know, links uh, that would allow you to navigate in different directions, right? Uh, and every time you clicked on a button, uh, the, the the whole page would would re-render, right? It would it would uh, it would be very jarring, right? You would see this and it would just render it, then and then the and then you would see the the, the map uh, render at a different location, right? That's using this technology. Right, it's every single request re-renders the entire page, throws away whatever you had, right, and it just re-renders it from scratch. Okay, uh, and then and then I, I discovered uh, Google Maps, right, and this is and, and it, there's no buttons and it was so they it cha they changed the, uh, the 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 um the manipulation is that you had now instead of having indirect manipulation, uh, now you have direct manipulation. You can actually grab the, uh, the the map and like jiggle it, right, and then just flick it. Right, and then and then it would just it would just animate, you know, and just load more content as as it as it went. A completely different uh, experience, right? Uh, you know, you can zoom in and zoom out, and uh, I kind of had exactly the same use cases, right? MapQuest also you could zoom in and zoom out, and you can pan right, left, up, down, same exact use case, but entirely different user experience. Okay, 
no refreshing of the page, right? The only a small fraction of it was, was refresh, right? And, and obviously, uh, uh, and, and Google just ran, you know, took this idea and just ran with it. Uh, and every single one of the, their, their pages are, are, are using this philosophy. And this is the, the single page application, meaning you navigate to a page and you never refresh it again. Right? You, instead, what you do is that you dynamically, using JavaScript, right, you load more content and based on certain uh, uh, logic, you, you show certain things, you, you, you hide them, you, uh, uh, you, you might even navigate to different portions, but never actually leave the page. There's no, never a hard refresh. Right of the contents, right? Uh, so that that is an entirely different architecture than this architecture, right? In this architecture, instead, uh, what we do is that uh, you still have uh, the beginnings of an HTML page, right? So you have a beginning HTML page, right? And uh, uh, and when you when you ask for this page, it downloads, right? But Notice that it's not interpreted by the by the browser. The browser doesn't touch it, right? If, as far as the browser is concerned, this is a static page, right? It says .html. It must be static, right? But it's not. Instead, it has uh, some tokens in there, right? It has uh, some embedded uh, knowledge in there that is going to be interpreted not by the server. It's going to be interpreted by JavaScript running here on the browser. Right? The browser it gets the, gets down over here. Plus, the HTML will have references to some JavaScript, which also lives on the server. Some JavaScript gets downloaded. And now the JavaScript will interpret the, Java, the HTML that was downloaded earlier. It says, ah, oh, I only have one row for the users. Let me go fetch the data. I don't have any data because uh, the client has no data. Uh, typically, there will be a separate call back to the server from the JavaScript code. So this gets downloaded down here, right? The HTML part and the JavaScript. And the JavaScript now is, is manipulating the, 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 the H, well, not the HTML. Uh, the HTML gets parsed. Uh, the, the, the browser creates a document, an object representation of this ASCII file. And then using JavaScript, you can manipulate the DOM. Right? And whatever changes you make to the DOM, it re-renders on the page. Right? If you, can, you can change colors. You can, you can add content. You can remove content dynamically from JavaScript. And the browser responds by re-rendering the page with the updates that you've done to the DOM. Right? Some of those updates is that, hey, I don't have any data. Right? So JavaScript sends a request back to the server listening for, listening for a, a request for users. Uh, and you have a service here on the, on the server, uh, makes a call to a database, right? retrieves the, user, the data, and it returns with an array of objects. Right? The, the array of objects is interpreted by JavaScript. JavaScript takes the template, copies it multiple times, uh, and, uh, populates the content, and, and adds it back into the DOM. And the browser re-renders. Make sense? Right? Completely different uh, architecture. Right? The server is now uh, res the responsibility of the server is not to do any content uh, uh, management. Right? The only thing is to uh, provide static temp st static content. Right, that are used as templates by the client, and then provide uh, uh, data access. Right, provide data access uh, because the client has nowhere to get its its data. Right, it has to come back to the server for, for its own data. Make sense? Completely different architecture. Okay. Uh, one of one of the uh, one, one of the challenges here with this architecture is that this URL it needs to be publicly available. Right. And notice that this browser, we don't know who, what browser that is. We can't control that browser, right? It can be anybody, right, visiting us. Uh, so, so this, this access, access point needs to be public. Yes? Uh, anybody has to be able to hit it. Uh, and, uh, and so the data that we're, we're exposing here, we might not want everybody to, 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 to view this, right? For instance, the list of all the users, well, maybe that's not make sense, right? That, that I just make a list of uh, all my users, first names, last names, phone numbers, that would make them available. Right. Uh, notice that in the previous architecture, it wasn't a problem, right? Because it was all behind the server. The server could see who are you. Do you even have access to this? No, I'm not even going to render it for you. But here, we have to make this publicly available for these two. So we need to uh, look at other ways that we can protect our data, uh, even though we want to make them public, right? That we want to make sense and tokens to make sure that you you do have the authority to access any of that data. So this class, this course, will focus on this single page application, React, uh, Angular, 
you know, those are you know single single or I mean they they uh, they they facilitate uh, the the implementation of single page applications. 